Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create contact forms as well as quiz and polls on your WordPress website. This plugin is one of the best plugin for the WordPress contact forms. Let me show you an example of the contact form that I have created. This is a simple contact form where I have name, email, phone number, check boxes and comments submit button is added. Here you will see the list of fields that you can use in the free plugin. You have name, email, phone, address, website, input, calculations is also available. Now if you compare this plugin with other WordPress contact form plugins, not all the fields are available in the free version. However, in this plugin, many advanced fields are available in the free version such as date picker, calculations, payment option. Payment option is also available. So if you want to create payment forms, you can use PayPal and Stripe and start accepting money on your WordPress website using this contact form plugin. The name of the plugin is Forminator. So in this video, we will see how we can create a contact form. We will also create poll and we will also create a quiz using the Forminator plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to install a free plugin which will help you create contact forms, polls, quiz and you will also be able to accept payment on the WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for Forminator. The name of the plugin is Forminator. And this is the plugin that we are going to install. Forminator contact form, payment form and custom form builder. So click on install now. And click on activate. All right, so in the left hand panel, you will see the option Forminator, click on it. And this is the dashboard of the plugin. On this dashboard, you will see how many forms are submitted, poll submission, with submissions, you will see all the information on the dashboard. In the left hand panel, you will see three different options here, forms, polls, and quiz. And there are some add-ons also, you can use add-ons. You will see these add-ons are available. Integrations. Under integrations, you will see Webhook, MailChimp, Google Sheet, MailJet. So if you want to integrate these forms with the email marketing tools, you can integrate these forms with the email marketing tool. Let's go to settings. So these are the basic settings of the form. Here you will see module listing, polls, quiz, choose the number of recent quizzes to be shown on your dashboard. So this is for the dashboard. If you want to add a recapture, you can go to capture settings and get the recapture side key, secret key, and enter the keys here. And the recapture will be enabled on your contact forms. If you want to enable payments, these are the two options available stripe and paypal so you just need to connect your paypal or stripe account and you will be able to accept payment using these forms so let's go to forms and we will create one form let's click on create now if you want to use templates you can use templates or you can create the form manually using the blank template these templates are available here contact us code request newsletter sign up registration login and create post so let's start with the blank template, click continue and let's name it as contact form one, click create. So this is the section where you can add the fields to your form and these are the settings for the form. So click on insert field, we will start with the field. Here you will see different fields are available, name, email, phone, address, website. All these fields are available in the free plugin. So you do not need pro plugin to use all these fields. So let's start with the name. Select the name and click on insert field. So this will be the name label. And here you will see a description. If you want to add description for this field, you can add the description. And this is the placeholder. If you do not want placeholder, you can remove it or you can keep it there. Now let's go to settings here. If you want this to be mandatory you can select required options so this will be a required field let's go to styling so these are the styling settings visibility you need more than one field so let's leave it as it is let's go back let's click on apply and this field will be added to your contact form now let's click on next let's select email and this is the placeholder go to settings make it required validate 
right now it is not set to any for any validation you can also enter the validation let's click apply insert phone this is the placeholder settings make it required and this is for the validation national international character limit you can use these validations click apply let's try using one checkbox field so i'm going to select the checkbox insert field let's change the label let's name it as services required and for the first option let's say website design the second option is seo let's add option that will be e-commerce add one more digital marketing all right so these are the options these are the checkbox options here you will see enable images if you want to add images you can enable the images let's go to settings make it required layout let's make it vertical checkbox options display order just leave it as it is calculations if you have any calculations you can enable calculations so using this plugin the calculation is also available for free all right so let's disable it click apply and the checkbox is applied here let's click on insert field just like the checkboxes you can also add a radio box or select field if you want multi-page form you can use the page break here you will see paper stripe currency consent all right now let's add the text area that will be for comments name it as comments and let's not make it as required click apply all right so we have added these fields and this is the button right now it says send message you can change the content on the button the text on the button this is the error message you can also change the error message visibility show hide if the field so here you can add some conditions if the required fields are not filled up then you can hide the button and once all the fields are filled up then you can show the button so these are the visibility rules that you can create so i'm going to apply this one so we have got all the fields here now in the left hand side you will see appearance this is the style section of the form so you will see this here flat bold material none or default let's make it default and below that you will see layout radio box so these are the layout colors use default colors or you can change the colors you can click on custom and from here you can change the background color the form container submission indicator also you can change the input and text area default colors this is for the submit button we will change that later let's go to behavior and after submission thank you for contacting us we will be in touch shortly if you click on it you can change the message from here so you need to click on it and you can add your own message here if you want to redirect the user to another url you can simply enter the url here and the user will be redirected to another page after submitting the form and this is the option hide the form and you can add the time after five seconds it will hide the form so let's use this one inline message and apply this one autofill autofill option is also available here let's go to email notifications right now this is the email notification settings if i click on it it will show admin email so this is the label new entry so this email will be sent to the admin of the website so whenever someone fills up the form this is the email that you will receive now this is the place where you can change the email address right now it is taking the admin email if you want to add multiple email addresses you can simply add a comma and add another email address it will send the email to two different email addresses let's go to advanced so from name from email so this will show the name email reply to email so i'm going to keep it as it is add condition if you want to add conditions you can add conditions let's click on add if you want to add another email notification you can do that using this option here add email notification integrations so right now we have not integrated any other applications so you first need to add integration here go to settings 
settings for the data storage, multiple option value, privacy. Let's click on publish. And this is the short code. Let's copy this one, close it. Now I'm going to open one page. I have one demo page and this page is using the Gutenberg and I have another page will be using Elementor page builder. So whichever page builder you have, you can use the short code in the page builder to show the contact form. All right, so here we are using Gutenberg. I can click on the plus sign and search for forms. Now you can also search for short code and use the short code. So I'm going to click on form and you can see that the form is added automatically. If you have multiple forms, it will show the list of forms and you can select the form from the drop down list. Right now, we have only one form that is contact form one and it is selected automatically. We have name, email address, phone number, and these are the check boxes and comments. Let's click on update and let's see how does this look. And this is how it will look. Let's go to Elementor and in the Elementor, I'm going to use short code. So let's click on plus sign and search for short code drag it and drop it here and enter the short code and it will show the form click update and let's go to view page and this is how it will look so whichever page builder you are using you just need to add the short code and the form will be shown on the page all right let's go back now let's go to appearance again and let's go to style settings let's go to submit and I'm going to change the color of the button, publish it or update it and let's refresh it. And you will see the color of the button is changed. Let's go to field basics. This is for the label required asterisk input and text area. Now this is the background color. You will see this background color here. I'm going to change that one. Let's make it slightly yellowish, update it and let's refresh it and you will see the change in the background color for the text and the text area field. So you can customize the color settings using this appearance option. Now let's try to fill up the form. I'm going to add some dummy content here. All right, so it seems that the telephone number is giving issue so let's go back to form and let's go to fields go to phone and go to settings i'm going to change it to none apply it and update the form let's refresh it and fill up the form again all right i'm going to select one service or let's select multiple services and click submit you will see the thank you message here. Now let's go back to forms, go to dashboard. And on the dashboard, you will see one submission is there. Here you can go to submissions, select forms and show submission. You will see the submission here. You will also receive an email with the details of the submission. This is the submission. You will see the selected check boxes also. And this is the comment. Now let's go to polls. We will create one poll here. Click create and let's say poll one. And let's add one question here. So this is the question. And for this question, I'm going to create a poll. You can also add description. Let's add answer here. Add multiple answers. All right, so these are the four options here. And this is the text, vote now. Click publish. You can also customize the style settings. This is the short code, copy it. Let's go to Elementor page builder and I'm going to add the poll. Let's add new section. Name it as poll. And below that, I'm going to add short code. And let's update it, refresh the page and you will see the poll here. Now I'm going to select, let's say Messi 
and click on Word Now. All right, so the poll has been submitted. You will see this, your vote has been saved. Let's go back to poll. And if you go to settings here, you will see different settings to a submission, use default, privacy. Go to appearance, appearance will show the customization, the style settings, behavior. Let's go to behavior. And this is the behavior, result display. So do not show is selected show after voted so i can select this option show after voted so when someone vote it will show the result of the poll so i'm going to select this option vote count hide or show how many votes are counted it will show the number of votes submission method reload the page vote opening status open pause or close you can close or pause the vote let's update it and here you will see voting limit also votes per user once or allow multiple so a customer will be able to vote only once or you can allow them to vote multiple times let's go back and refresh it and it is now showing how many votes are casted it will show the result also now here if i go to dashboard i can see the number of submissions here for polls now let's go to quiz and let's create quiz quiz one now here you will see no pagination or paginated quiz paginated quiz will go to next page let's click on continue collect leads if you want to collect leads it is going to put a form on the quiz where the user will need to enter the details such as first name email address phone number and once they enter the details they will be redirected to the quiz so if you want to collect leads you can enable this option so i'm not going to enable it create a quiz general knowledge quiz let's make it as gk quiz and let's go to questions here you can add a question i'm going to add so this is the question you can also add description add answer so i'm going to add answers here you can also add pictures all right so these are the four options here and you need to select the correct answer here so i'm going to select the correct answer and add the question so this is the first question let's add another question and let's add answer here all right, and I'm going to select the correct answer here. Click on add question. So we have got two questions here, and this is the submit button. Let's go to appearance. And from here, you can change the color settings, layout. This is the layout. Next is behavior. Questions, no pagination or paginated quiz. You can use one question on one page. Paginated questions will display a number of questions to users at a time. So I'm going to keep it as it is results real time or after submissions i'm going to keep it as real time show loader message correct answer wrong answer social sharing email notification if you want to send email notification you can use this option integrations and settings let's publish it copy the short code let's go to elementor and add new section let's add short code so this is the quiz let's update it let's go to page refresh it all right now here you will see the first question i'm going to let's select a wrong answer here and it will show that the answer is wrong and it will also show the correct answer now for the next question i'm going to select the correct answer and it will show this is the correct answer you can retake the quiz and this time we are going to select both the answers correct and you will see you got two out of two so you can use this plugin not only for the contact form creation you can also create polls and quiz so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.